Hello lawn mowing people. What I'm going to talk to you about today is are you charging enough for your lawns? Because if you're not charging enough, you could be going broke in a hurry and it could be like a, a death with a thousand cuts and you don't even know you're doing it. Now, a while ago, I went to quote on a lawn and the lady told me I was way too expensive. It was a lawn that was going to take me half an hour to cut. I quoted her $40, which I thought was reasonable. And she said to me, the guy that was cutting my lawn used to charge 20. You're way too expensive. And I said to her, well, if the guy's cutting your lawns for $20, why don't you give him a ring and get him to come around and, and cut your lawn? Why are you ringing me? And she said that he had a problem with his mower. It broke down and he couldn't afford to fix it. And I thought to myself, well, that sums it up perfectly, doesn't it? You charge ridiculously low prices and you can't even afford to run your business. What, what you really, really need to do is to charge what a job's worth. Because if you undercharge for a job, not only are you doing it once, you're doing it every two weeks. So, so you're working for nothing one day, then two weeks later you're working for nothing again. And then two weeks after that, you're doing the same thing. And that kind of business is the kind of business that I see that's usually around at the beginning of spring, works through the summer, and then drops off in the winter because it just can't afford to keep going. Now, if you want to start a business, you need to run it correctly. You need to know how much you're charging. You need to know your numbers. Now, one way to remedy this and to know exactly what's happening is to keep track of exactly how long it takes to mow a lawn. Then what you need to do is make sure that the that you have a target amount for a day, let's say $400, $450 or whatever, and that you're earning that amount. If you're targeting all your, uh, if you're tracking all of your lawns, then what you can do is you can keep track of the times and you can work out what your higher paying lawns are and what your lower paying lawns are. And then you can keep on building your business. And as you take higher paying lawns on, then what you start doing is you start price increasing your lower lawns. Or say the lawns that you're taking on now are worth 60 or $70 an hour and you've got lawns that are worth 55, then you could package those $55 lawns and you could sell a small round. So the idea is to keep on increasing the value of the work that you're doing. And that doesn't mean that you're constantly price increasing. It means that you're taking, you're giving good prices when you quote and you're taking on better and better work and you're filtering out the work that's not bringing you so much money. So that's the way that I've built my business and that's enabled me to take a lawn mowing business that had around about 450 lawns and I sold about 350 lawns and I ended up with a lawn mowing round that I work about 20 hours a week with my wife, we work together and we earn a full-time income, which gives me 20 hours a week to do whatever I want. And the reason that we've managed to do this is we've consolidated our, our business every year. We've, we've sold the lower paying lawns or we've price increased the lower paying lawns and we've just focused on bringing on more and more small high paying lawns. And now that's all we do. We run 157 lawns, we knock them out, and 20 hours a week. If you keep on consolidating your business, you keep on your high price lawns, sell your low price lawns or put the prices up and also keep your area fairly condensed, sell lawns that are on the fringes or price increase lawns, lawns that are on the fringes so they drop off. And then what you'll end up at the end of the day is a nice consolidated round that'll earn you top dollar. And at the end of the day, that's all we want. We just want a nice, a nice lifestyle business that we can go out and we can work and we can come home and do the things that we want to do. So that's all I've really got to say today. So happy lawn mowing people and have fun out there. I'll see you on the next video.